Hi, this is a professional development session called Effective Informal Communication for Action on Student Absence. I want to stress that this is about informal communication. There's no change to the formal procedure. The formal procedure, here is a summary, teachers take attendance daily. They put PL or A into the system. The system will generate a warning that sends to the student at 5%. This is about four days absent. The students will also receive a warning at 10% and this will trigger a meeting with the department chair. And then at 15% absent, students are removed from the course. This is the formal approach. Some issues that we face with this procedure is that it is time consuming. Once the 10% warning is out, the time to get a meeting together with the department chair to get the warning signed and then for the 15% to follow up and contact the students does take time. A big problem is that the action all comes after the absence. So if they're absent for 4 to 12 days, this amount of absence can already have done the damage to their progression. They might change their behaviour to their attendance, but they've missed so much that it could affect them later down in the term. And there's a lack of student support while they are actually absent. They may be having uh, sickness issues or personal issues and we're not supporting them while that's happening. So one solution we can put in place here is to have effective communication and support from the teachers. The teachers know the students personally, they see them every day, so if we have a more communicative approach with them, then we might be able to help with the attendance issues. So what data is available to us? It all comes from the banner system. We have an attendance summary. This shows all students, it shows their absence percentage, it shows their phone number, and it shows their last attended date. So here is an example of that data that student services can provide. I've removed the name and the student number for confidentiality, but it shows how many sessions they have, how much absence they have, what warning they've received, their group and their last attended date. I have added color to this to show which students in red are at risk of being removed, which ones have high absence. In orange and yellow they've received the warning. So you can just flick through the whole program to see where everyone is. Here is an example of the detailed report. I've blocked off the name and ID again, but it shows the, the course code, the date of the attendance mark, the time of the attendance mark, who made the attendance mark and what the attendance mark was. So we can, I've added color again to show the absent periods and the present periods. Uh, it's a very big Excel sheet. There's tens and thousands of attendance marks here. But if you filter it for each individual student, it starts to tell you a story. Here is an example of a student's report. I've blocked off the name and number over here. But if you can see here, I've made absence red and presence green and you can start to see a pattern of this person's absence. They're absent in the first period, absent in the last period, absent in some middle period. So this is a student absent on Mondays. So this is a student that doesn't come to uh, the campus on time and also is often absent on a Monday. So that gives you an idea of how you can advise the student. And of course, one data point is you see the students live in the classroom. You can see they're not there, so that would be something you would have. What is the informal communication I'm talking about? It does fit the teacher roles and responsibilities. It's part of a tutorial support to give students one-to-one -one support on their learning problems. Attendance is a big part of this. You should set up a good line of communication. You need to be sharing data that we've just talked about on attendance. You can share the attendance policy to remind them. This doesn't have to come from uh, student services all the time. You can encourage them to attend, give them reasons to come to class. You can also listen to their reasons. Now obviously they should be sharing this with student services, but they may have a genuine reason that they 
don't haven't communicated to student services so that may be able to bridge that line of communication you can also share the content of the class they've missed to say hey we did this uh, important work today this is what you should have done and you can remind them of their course targets we all have very clear targets at the end of each term and if you don't keep reminding them then they won't realize that the ad attendance issue is causing a problem with that Here's an example of me trying to communicate to a student saying that he missed an exam, you were off most of last week, what was the problem? So what different forms of communication do you have? Of course you've got face to face, you've got phone, you've got Adverti email, you have Teams and Blackboard, and you also have WhatsApp. Now in my opinion, they all have their benefits. But for me, WhatsApp is starting to become the most effective way of communicating to students, especially for an issue like this. The benefits of using WhatsApp, it is the most common, common messaging service in the UAE. It's free. It's very easy to use for everyone. You can share pictures, PDFs, videos very easily, and you can communicate to multiple students simultaneously. Now, I don't want to go into that here. I also did a training video on using WhatsApp Web. WhatsApp Web is using your laptop for WhatsApp. So it's your same WhatsApp number, but you use the laptop and that helps you to start using the materials that are on your computer for teaching. So you can send that out much more easily. Here is the link and I'll post it in the description of this video. And something I've just uh, picked up is how to use Excel to send messages to multiple students. Now I'll just give a quick demonstration on this, but basically you need the normal student data, name, uh, student ID, you need and their group and things like that. You need their phone number, which is available on the attendance records. You need to type a message and then you need this hyperlink formula. Now Excel formulas can be a bit scary if you're not used to using them, but I've used this for the last two weeks and it's been excellent way of communicating with students. So here is my WhatsApp web window open on my desktop. I use personal and work messages via this system. I find it a really easy way to communicate with lots and lots of students. Now if you're sending messages to three or four students just use your normal WhatsApp but you might have 30, 40 students to communicate to and you're trying to send the same thing. So this is where this system would come in quite effectively. So here is an example. I have four students in this class, John, Paul, George and Ringo. I have their phone numbers here and they've all got problems with their absence. We're only one week in and they're already missing a lot of classes. So the message I want to send to all students you can't send very long messages via this way, but you can send short ones. So I want to send this message to all four students. So I would write the message in and I would copy it in there. Now the hyperlink is where the magic happens. Here is the hyperlink. It's a complicated system. There's only two things I need to change. It's the bits that say cell here and cell here. So I'm just gonna copy that hyperlink. I'm going to post it into my cell and I'm going to change the cell. So the first cell to change is the phone number. The phone number is in C3. I'm going to type C3 and the message is in E3. So I'm going to type E3 here. So I'm sending a hyperlink to phone from C3 and the text is from E3. Get to the end, just press enter and now it's changed all the message. And if you see, go down, it's changed it to C4, E4, C5, E5, C6, E6. So it's changed depending on the phone number. Now for four students, it's not that much work. But if you were to expand this to 40 students that you need to communicate to and check where they are and what problems they're having, then this would be really useful. So now all I need to do is click on that link and it comes up with the message already in WhatsApp. I press enter and it's gone. So now it started the chat and I can send any other information. It's open and I'm ready to go for the communicating to those students. Okay, so again, this is the link. I'll post it into the description, but it's a very handy way 
to start communicating with multiple students at the same time. Okay, and that's the end of the session.